Okay, part two. Um, where was I? Um, yeah, the the lone wanderer is what they call you, but you have your own name, and they don't really say like you know, they say lone wanderer or you or you know, they don't ever say your name. Um, but um, basically, lone wanderer leaves the vault and discovers this piece of crap land that's been blown a bit, and once you leave that vault, you basically can do whatever you want. Um, you can be a bad guy, you can be a good guy, you can be kind of neutral, um, you can go around killing everybody, or you can go around saving everybody, and it's so big, it's, it's, uh, it's gotta be bigger than Oblivion's map, but, um, it's more entertaining of a map, and it, and the visuals make it, make it entertaining, even if you're just walking through the desert, it's, it's, it's just really cool, but, uh, you, you know, you come across, across side quests, and you can also follow the main quest if you want with you finding your dad, and then eventually figuring out the entire plan of why your dad left, but, um, and then, you know, you, you can, it's, it's, the developers said that when they came out with the game, it was easily a hundred hours long. Now, that is, um, I think that is false. Um, it is easily <laughs> a thousand million billion billion hours long. Uh, I got this when it first came out from pre-order, and I'm still playing it. I'm still finding new things. Um, I guess it just depends on how committed you are to the game, I guess. Um, for me, I've spent there have been days I've spent all day playing it, and then there are days I've only spent, you know, ten minutes playing it. And, uh, I don't play it every day, but still, I, th I there's a lot of, of stuff you can find. It's really interesting story. Probably one of the best stories I've seen in a video game in a long time. And it's, it's just quite, um, amazing to see, uh, how much effort was put into this game, and how much they tried to make what they desired. And they didn't cut corners, they didn't, you know, do any of that stuff. And that's why it's become Game of the Year, and, or it was Game of the Year in 2008. Um, and it's just limitless of the possibilities you can do, you can make. any so many beards you can make for your character, so many, like, you know, skin tones, uh, you know, colors of hair, facial uh, features, um, everything. Anything, you name it. And, uh, once you get out there, it's really just an epic story. You'll just be walking down the waste, walking through the waste, and you'll just come across, you know, a cave, and you'll go in the cave, and, and, uh, the cave, the, the you know, when you, in Oblivion, you'll find caves and stuff, and you'll go in there, and it'll kind of just be like, you know, treasure at the end. And this, there's actually kind of a mini story to each one, which is really nice. And the side quests, um... There's, there are many side quests, there are many quests that aren't even marked, um, because there, there's just so many, and, um, if, if you want to play a game that will last you, and it's the last game you'll, if you need to buy a game, and it'll be the last game you buy, um, for a while, for some reason, um, I suggest getting this game. This game will last you forever, and, um... It's just quite enjoyable. Um, I'm not really going to get into any gameplay, because you can go... I, I suggest going to just, you know, anywhere. You can go to um, YouTube, uh, you know, IGN, and they'll tell you everything about the game. All the gameplay, everything. And the reviews, there's more reviews there you can go to and see. Um, don't, don't... If you don't want all your advice from me, because mine is very... Um, it's not very descriptive, uh, then go ahead and go to a real review, but, um, uh, uh maturity-wise, this is rated M, of course, um, because you blow off arms and heads and make them explode, and there's some pretty gruesome images in the game, and, um, it's all part of the package, though. Uh, one of my favorite parts of this game, and one of my favorite features of this game is, when you kind of start out in this game, it seems like a happy, um, happy place. If, if you watch the first trailer, it seems like that, too. It's, it's great. Um, I don't know what it's called. I should, but, 
of just at first you just think everything's okay and everything's happy and once you exit this vault it's twisted as hell you you run into some twisted characters that are um very gruesome and and uh, you know and you'll just you'll come across some places that are just plain vile and um you can <laughs> you can either join them or you can you can kill them or you can do whatever you want with them you can stop them whatever um, there are thousands of guns in this game, thousands of items in this game. There's stuff you can you can pick up almost anything. You can discover almost anything. Uh, it's like they, they one of their one of their descriptions is uh, I don't know if it's on here. Uh, it's like uh, the world's best virtual post-apocalyptic game or something like that. It is actually it feels like a virtual reality game. If you want it to be, you can make it any way you want and basically act like yourself and what you would do in a wasteland. And it's it's really neat. I always really enjoy that that kind of uh, apocalyptic, end-of-the-world type survival games and movies and everything. Um, I always enjoyed those quite a bit. Um, if you're not a video game person... Uh, and you have either a PC or th PlayStation 3 or an Xbox 360, which that means you've played video games before, but even if you're a PC person, try and figure out and see if you, if it will work for your PC, just because um, most people who don't like video games don't like them for certain reasons. This game, um, it kind of just takes you along, and you can really enjoy it and uh, really just have fun with it. Um... That's that's about it for this. Uh, I I would tell you to get more information on it if you want to know if you're really skeptical about buying this game. Just because I am not giving you everything, because I don't want to. I don't know what I should spoil and what I shouldn't. Um, and I don't know exactly. I don't. I don't want to explain all. It would take me a hundred videos to explain this entire game. So I I just suggest getting the game. If, if you want more information, um, go to IGN.com or go to, just search Fallout 3 on YouTube. But, um, great game. Um, on another note, I was, I'm, I'm kind of apologizing still, again, for being lazy and taking a while to get these videos up. It's all my fault. Um, I hope... You guys are enjoying my videos. I hope I'm not boring you. Um, you might it might help if you suggest what I what I should review or what I might want to change. Um, I'm already gonna make some changes to my uh, YouTube page, which will be up and God knows when because I'm taking forever. But it'll it'll have a new you know background and layout and stuff too. I think um, I'm gonna kind of go on a different angle here and try and make it a little more review everybody i feel like i'm kind of reviewing things i like so i'm i i'm gonna do that still but i'm also gonna try and review other things you know i, I feel like i've reviewed too many things that i like and i should review some things i don't like but um thank you for waiting and thanks for you know watching my videos and stuff uh it's really great and for my final note i want to thank um real manos for that shout out that was really um thoughtful thank you so much um if you haven't seen his page go to his page i have it on my um, youtube youtube page so thank you so much and that's it